you so much for coming in today for the buyer's uh, consultation and to find you your first new home. That's exciting. That's it. Yes, it is. Great, great. So first, I'm just going to jump right in here with some questions that we've already reviewed just okay. to make sure I'm on the same uh, same track. Okay? Okay. All right. And so um, working with another agent at this time, you have been, uh, but it, no buyer's brokerage agreement. You've had some frustration with that. Tell me just a little bit more about that. Yeah, you know, she's just really, I don't feel like she's representing her best interests. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's new or... Um, they don't like to work that hard. We put in a couple offers. They haven't got accepted. Mm -hmm. You know, her follow-up's been a little weak. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're just kind of concerned that we're maybe not working with the right agent at this time. Sure. Hence, coming in to at least get a second opinion. Exactly. Yeah, good idea. So, as far as the time frame for needing to purchase a home, you said uh, sooner the better, but that you weren't up against the wall in any specific time frames, correct? Exactly, yeah. I mean, if I could be in a property in the next two weeks, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have to be, but the sooner the better. Yeah, and remind me again now, you're renting or do you own another property? I uh, staying with family. We just uh -huh. moved from Hawaii, so. Right, that's right. And so uh, then your ability to get into something sooner is, is, is there for you. Exactly. I like family, but I'm ready to have my own place. <laughs> I understand that. <clears throat> and so uh, you've been looking now for about how long? Uh, six weeks, feels that's like longer. True. Right. And so uh, with the frust some of the frustrations that you've had, I can, I can appreciate that. Yeah. And so tell me a little bit more about um, the, the – you've been pre-qualified already, yep. right? And the lender said up to 300000 300000 Yeah, and you, right. And you emailed me that um, pre-qualification letter. So the lender explained the payment for a property that you purchased for 300000 Exactly. Okay. Yeah, they went over everything. Good. So comfort level there is 100%. Yeah, the monthly works with our budget. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And as far as um, any other decision makers, I mean, you're the main decision makers. There's no one else that's coming in on. Correct. It'll be my, myself. That's okay. the main decision maker. Got you. Now, um, just to make sure, because we're going to look at this in a minute here on the area, you mentioned um, the south, southeast part of the valley, Green Valley, Silverado Ranch. Exactly. You're familiar with those areas generally or more specifically? Uh, kind of generally. I just heard they're, you know, nice areas. I okay. Said, you know, we've looked at some properties and. Uh, it looked nice, so. Mm -hmm. Great, and so making sure that you get a good sample of what's out there, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the areas so you can figure out what you want. Uh, and you mentioned um, at least 1,750 square feet, exactly. right? But the bed and bath were important to have that downstairs, right? Yeah, and exactly. You have bad knees, bad back, so mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I need a, I need a room for downstairs. Okay, so um, you would be using that area, or at some point you thought you'd have to use that area, or tell me about how that's important. Yeah, I mean, more than likely right away I'll, I'll, I'll be using that, you mm -hmm. know, so it'd be ideal if it's a master, um, but even just a bed and bath, you know, I, I know master can be a little hard to find in a two-story for, you know, mm -hmm. that price range. Yeah, there's definitely less of them out there. Have you considered one story, or what would keep you from purchasing a, just a one-story home so that you, you could guarantee the master downstairs? Yeah, absolutely. So one story would be great. Okay. Uh, however, the little bit of research I've done on Zillow, uh -huh. I haven't seen many one stories, you know, in the areas I'm looking for for the price range. Okay. So. Good. Well, let's, we'll take a look at that. Okay. Okay, great. <clears throat> and, um, okay, great. So uh, with all of that, and at least three bedrooms you had right here, three bedroom, two bath. Exactly. Okay. Minimums. Okay. All right, now, so um, there's three things we're going to look at specifically today. First is uh, what you can get from me okay. in regards to the value that I can bring to the table. Okay. And second, we'll look at market conditions, what's going on with the market and how that, uh, how that affects you with negotiating and getting, getting the best possible strategy. Okay. That way you waste less time. Yeah. How's yeah. that sound? That sounds good. I mean, yeah. our agent right now said that the market's, you know, it's just, she said it's really hard to get any house, so. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so... When you first started out, did you have a consultation like this, or was it more kind of on the fly? No, we called her, you know, we found her information online, and then mm -hmm. just met her at a property. Right, good. So I'm sure you're already sensing the value of making sure you have a good game plan and what's exactly going on with the market so you can get the, you know, not have to waste as much time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. And then uh, third, the third thing we'll look at, so what you'll get from me, the market conditions, and then uh, what hiring a professional actually mean for you and any questions or concerns you have on that so that if you do feel comfortable and confident, you can decide that you do want to hire me and that um, you can move forward. Sound fair? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I like what is the higher you? What does that mean? Right. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm gonna commit a lot of time and energy to make sure and some money. <laughs> okay. To uh, get you the best possible deal. Okay. And for hiring me, basically just a commitment that if you decide you want to buy something, then you decide that you'd want to do it with me. And uh, what that means, we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. So let's let's stay on track here. Uh, first, um, what you what you can expect from me. So making sure we have strategy. That's important. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Yeah. And understanding the different types of properties, which we're going to get into in a minute, and the market conditions are critical for saving you money. Okay. That's really important, right? Yeah, we're going to save money. Okay, good. So having those pieces in place, and we're going to get to those, is really important to make sure that we get to your goal. Now, um, making sure you get uh, the best deal possible is something I, I really want to focus on, and the negotiation process is where we ensure that happens. Uh, that's the type of agent you want working for you, right? Yeah, I want a deal. <laughs> right. And so the negotiation process is where we specifically focus on getting you the best possible deal. Okay. With my experience and knowledge, some of the market conditions that we're going to look at, all of those things kind of play into making sure the negotiation process is maximized okay. so we can get you the best possible deal. Great. All right, good. And so um, here's the thing. Finding the home is only half of the job, right? And uh, really keeping all parties in the transaction accountable. Uh, unfortunately, I, I liken, liken it a little bit to babysitting, right? Where the we have uh, the uh, the appraiser, the home inspector, the lender, the buyer's agent, escrow, insurance, right? All of these pieces of the puzzle, where any number of things could go wrong, right? So that we can get to the finish line and get the property closed. So it's part of my job, Austin, is to make sure that I keep those parties on track. Okay. Right to get uh, to, again so that we can get to the closing and and that's a big that's a big deal. So how important do you think that really is with that many parties involved? Yeah, I mean it sounds pretty important. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, so making sure that you know that up front that that's a big part of my job okay. and my experience and knowledge can help get us there is important. Right. Now um, here's the bottom line. You expect me to be honest with you, right? Yes, absolutely. Good. And look, all I do f uh, for, from you, uh, Austin, is expect the same okay. in regards to. Be straightforward with your thinking. We walk into a house and you say, Paul, no way. Uh, or we pull up to a house and we see the outside and you say, no way. Okay. Then uh, it's not my house, all right? <laughs> so you won't offend me. So uh, if there's something that you don't like about a property, uh, then just tell me right, right away what you think is very, very important to me to make sure you get what you want. Sound fair? That sounds fair. Okay, good. Now, um, pre-qualifying is the first step I have here written down, but you already have that done, and uh, so I'm, I'm confident and I'm uh, really comfortable with you being able to find a property in your price range. Okay. Um, now, uh, there's another part of the market that we have to be careful with and pay attention to. Okay. Okay. Are you aware of what that is? No. What's that? So, for sale by owners, properties you might drive by and see that may look like the type of property that you're interested in, and then new homes. Okay. Okay. Now, for both of those. Using a realtor still is a huge advantage. Were you aware how? Um, I mean, not, I, I've heard about it, but not really. Yeah. So with for sale by owners, obviously the legality, the liabilities of uh, doing a for sale by owner. There's lots of nooks and crannies there as far as making sure you don't get sued. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. That you don't lose your money. Yeah. Right. And then obviously you don't waste your time. Yes. And so with for, uh, with new homes, there's a lot of digging that I can do with new homes as far as finding out if there's any deals that you can get, finding out anything about the area that might be important to you. So new home builders have agents on site. You're, you're aware of that, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and so with new home builders agents, do you think they their best interest is for you or for the builder? Uh, definitely for the builder. Right, and look, there's some good people there, and I'm sure they have good intentions, and at the end of the day, you know who pays their check? The builder. Right. <laughs> So uh, how important would it be to ha be represented by attorney if you were to get sued and go into court? Oh, I wouldn't go and do it. Right, way. but you wouldn't want the person suing you to send their attorney over to represent you. Absolutely not. Right. Same exact thing. Now, uh, as far as what that would mean as far as cost and commissions uh, owed in a transaction, were you familiar with how that worked out? Um, no, not really. Okay, so uh, great. So that's exactly why, why talking to me is important. Now, working with a uh, homeowner, when you list a property, they pay the listing and the buyer side of the commission typically. Okay. All right. So you won't have to worry about any of the commissions and basically outside of a buyer's uh, <coughs> uh, broker transaction fee, right, of a small amount that's not due till the close of escrow, all of the commission, 3% of a 300,000 deal is what? 
9,000. Yeah, about $9,000, right? So you won't have to worry about any of that uh, in the transaction. So that's exciting, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's some money that you don't have to worry about out of pocket. Um, now, there are a couple of costs in regards to closing costs. Okay. Um, now, you didn't need closing costs, but if you got them, you'd want to try to shoot for it, or what? Where, where, where did you stand on that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, any kind of deal is a good deal, so if mm -hmm. I can get closing costs, that'd be great. Okay. Now, typically, the down payment in this price range is going to be anywhere from five to $10,000. You were com uh, comfortable with the earnest money deposit? Yeah. I'm sorry, the earnest money deposit. Okay. So uh, we had talked a little bit about that before. And then the appraisal being around four to $500. Okay. And the uh, home inspection, another 250 to 300 bucks. Okay. Okay. The upfront costs outside of closing costs and your down payment on your loan. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Any questions or concerns with that? No, it seems all pretty simple. Any, yeah, so all the, all the things on cost are upfront to make sure that we're on the same page. Now, um, here's one thing we're gonna do a little bit differently to find you the right home, right? Most of the homes listed are on the MLS, you right. know, very small portion for sale by owners and, and some new homes. Based on your criteria, it seemed like new homes was less of a factor, right? Right, Getting more bang for yeah. your buck, right? And so um, finding properties that might look like uh, the kind of property that you're looking for off market through uh, a pretty aggressive prospecting plan that my team holds in regards to talking to 100 to 150 people every day, Austin, okay. uh, that could yield the type of property that you're looking for. How would that sound in regards yeah, to that? That's great. Yeah, exactly. So you'd want an agent who'd be doing something like yeah, that, that's right? Yeah, hard work, yeah. Yeah, so uh, just sitting back waiting for things to happen, that's not part of our plan. Making sure that we're proactively going out there is a big part of our plan to make sure we find you that right property. That sounds great. Okay, awesome. All right, so the next part here, we're gonna jump into what the market's doing, just to take a quick okay. look. I'm sure this is the part you're most excited yeah, about, right? Yeah, absolutely, I wanna know what's going on. For sure. Okay, so let's take a look at, um, uh, let's, can you get it, can you see that yeah, okay? that's perfect. Okay, so here's active homes, right? We want single family homes. Uh, now look, there's about 10,000 homes on the market. It only shows down here 5,000 flush, but there's about 10,000 total homes on the market okay. for sale, so we're gonna focus in on single family homes. Uh, with at least well, under 300,000. Okay. It's important to stay in our price range, right? And uh, we're down to how many homes now? 4,100. Right. And a uh, two plus car garage, right? Exactly. Okay. And then we're, we want at least three bedrooms. Okay. How many homes are we down to now? 2,900. And now uh, let's make sure we stay in the, the area that we were looking, which we said um, the Silverado Ranch area, correct? Exactly. And um, Henderson, right? Yep. Uh, Green Valley, I'm sorry, Green Valley area. Okay. How many homes are we down to now? 244. Okay. Dropped pretty considerably, yeah. huh? Yeah, absolutely. Now absolutely. Uh, remember, the multiple listing service is where any online websites get their information. Zillow, okay. Redfin, Trulia, any of the other main brokers who have search engines, yeah. they all get their information from here. right from here. Got it. So you're gonna get direct access, some of like what you may have already gotten with the last Yeah, she's sending me some properties. And right, now uh, we said uh, we consider one story. Yeah, one story, two stories so great. Let's take a look at that, okay. And um, now we didn't talk about the types of properties in regards to short sale or REO. So short sales can still take six to nine months to close a short sale and uh, the matter of the fact is it still might not close. Is that the type of property you consider or uh, you? Absolutely not. Okay, so let's get those out of there. And that only erased about 20 homes or so, so not a huge deal. And pool, well, if it's there or not really want to pull? Uh, no pool, that's just an extra, okay. extra fee every month. Okay, now um, how about, um, year built was that important to you would you consider an older home like there are some in henderson a green valley area that are still in nice neighborhoods or do you really want a newer home uh no i mean any years any years fine as long as it's uh you know pretty good condition mm -hmm. okay now um bedroom bathroom downstairs this is the equalizer here this okay. will really okay now uh 97 homes okay so that's for sure with the bedroom bathroom downstairs let's just let me ask you a question if uh First story could happen. Would that be a priority if that could happen? One story home? Or would you, for whatever reason, want to consider a two story? Um, I mean, I, really, I'm open for either. Okay, I just want to make sure. 
K300, K2 car garage, right? And so that's a pretty, pretty generous sample there. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. Single family, active homes, uh, under 300,000, three bedroom, uh, two, two plus bath. Let's, that won't change much there. And oh, uh, square footage. Yeah, <laughs> square footage. Okay, so uh, minimum seventeen fifty. You said right. Exactly. Okay. Okay. You see the number that it dropped down to there? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Right. So that's a still a pretty good sample. Typically, for any criteria search, if you end up with a couple dozen or more properties, that's. Oh. So the fact that uh, in the south, south, and we can pin this, we can pinpoint this down later, that you're getting 54 properties with uh, the exact criteria that you're looking for, is a pretty good sample. Yeah. Did you? Were you aware of that? Yeah. Or? I mean, 54 homes. That's. Right. Um, so we can see that from the bigger picture, it narrows down pretty quickly, right? Um, now, any questions or concerns on the types of properties? That, uh, the criteria on the properties and how that kind of shrinks down the market here, shrinks uh, down the world. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, now, since you've already gotten a pretty good look at the um, type, the e flyers, the electronic flyers yep. that come to you, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel on looking at the flyers themselves. But if you have any questions or concerns, just give me a just give me a call for that. Great. Okay. Excellent. So um, from here, okay, is um, just understanding that. Um, you have an opportunity okay so now uh, you have a good understanding of what I do and what's happening with the market so all you have to decide is uh, if you want me to help you yeah and uh, properties for sale in the, in the centralized service the multiple listing service you're, you're familiar with that you're comfortable with that yeah I'm comfortable with that. great and so you understand all agents are working from the same source yes. right as far as yes. okay so it's only a matter of who you feel can get the job done best you've had some challenges with yeah. that before yeah uh, now, have I demonstrated a strong plan in regards to finding you the right home? I mean, this is definitely more professional than what I've what I've been doing for the last mm -hmm. you know, few years right. with other agents. All right, great. And have I presented clearly in regards to what's happening with the market and how you can take advantage of that? Yeah. Okay. Now, how about anything I might have missed in regards to what you might be thinking or looking for, or what maybe somebody else had mentioned to uh, to get you the best deal or service involved? W what did I miss? Uh, like, like, you know, when we talked on the phone before before we met today, I just, I'm just a little frustrated at this point. You know, I wanted, I wanted to be in something a little while ago or at least have something under contract. Mm -hmm. and, right. You know, so, so you're done wasting time. I'm done wasting time. And you've seen a professional presentation in regards to what it takes you to get there. Yeah, this looks good. You know, I'm just, you know, the, I'm, I'm looking for that execution now, so. Mm -hmm. Great, well, listen. I'm gonna spend the time and the money and uh, the energy to make sure you get the best possible deal. The only thing you have to do is hire me okay. to get the job done, okay. and uh, and just say that in the next in the next few months, if you find a property that you're comfortable with and you want to make an offer on it, that you're gonna use me. Does that oh, make sense? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I okay. Mean, what does that entail? Right. So basically, uh, a buyer brokerage agreement is an agreement like a listing presentation. When you when you put your house up for sale, you uh, sign a listing presentation, right? Or, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, a listing uh, contract. Yes, right? exactly. So with the buyer's uh, situation, it's a buyer uh, brokerage agreement that says, Paul, you know what? You have a professional, uh, you have a professional plan and a strategy. I appreciate it, and I think it's a great plan and a strategy. And I want to hire you to uh, represent me in, this, in purchasing my my next home. Okay. So right, so that's a that's a period here for 90 days for you to take a look at uh, finding a property and using me, and then just moving forward. I mean, so you have to commit the 90, next 90 days. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, you know, I mean, after everything I've been through, I just, I mean, why can't we just go out and and find a property? Yeah. Without me committing 90 days, you know, it's just been a already long process. So. Yeah, and you know what? I would feel the same exact way if I were you. You've been through a little bit of a rough patch, huh? Yeah. 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 And um, never having bought property before, I, I would be a little hesitant to to commit to somebody when uh, you kind of burn, you know, we just you, met too, you know. Yeah. Right. 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 So as far as as far as my service in regards to what you see on paper here and what you're getting a feel for, yeah, in the consultation, um, aside from just the uh, the commitment side of it, was there anything else that's that's holding you back from moving forward or uh, anything? That you in the presentation you you could think of or you're feeling outside of the commitment side of it. Oh, Is there no, anything oh that's else? great. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a matter of not getting uh, uh, not getting locked in. Yeah. You know, I don't want to feel trapped. And I mean, 
some days you're gonna be busy, so I could always go out with another, you know, agent. Sure. Or, you know, I want to make sure you're the right one before I commit, you know, in 90 days. Yeah. And you know, and you brought up a good point there that I want to just um, just address really quickly. So, another part of our service is making sure that a, an opportunity never goes uh, missed. Okay. Okay. So let's say that um, I won't. I'm not able to show you the property, or uh, uh, for whatever reason, it's weird hours. Like typically, I don't work Sundays, but I'll make sure that regardless of the day or the time, if the right property pops up. Austin, how important is it do you think to get out there and, and see that property oh, immediately? Yeah, I mean, right? And you're going to be able you're going to be willing to do whatever you can to be to see that property if that happens. Oh yeah, I'll drop back and leave work. Right? Well, but listen, I'm going to commit to the same thing that if I'm not able to show you the property, somebody on my team is at least going to be able to open the door. Okay. And, and I'll st I'm still going to be your agent, but they'll, they'll open the door and get out there for you to to, to see that property. Okay. All right? So now as far as now, is that a level of service that you're that you could be yeah, happy with? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that sounds great. I, you know, the, the other agent has been showing me properties and you know, that's fine. Uh, it was mm -hmm. actually the execution of it though that, you know. Right. Now, not getting the professional presentation up front, really putting a strategy in place. Um, how do you think that's affected you in regards to the service that you've gotten so far? I, I mean, I feel like, yeah, she's definitely not as professional. Right. So it's clear in regards to what's, what the, the, presenta uh, the strategy is and what I can do. It's just, it's only the commitment, right? Yeah, I mean, is there a way around this? You know, I'd love to work with you, and then it sounds like you're going to make, you know, around nine thousand dollars if mm -hmm. you work with me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so is there just a way around this? Right. So uh, definitely, here, here's the thing: when you sign the contract, what you're doing is, is I get, um, you're getting a commitment that you're getting some, uh, that you're getting property sent to you, that you're getting a specific service. All this is saying, Austin, is that I'm getting, is that I'm getting a commitment for your time over the next ninety days. And look, here's the thing. Um, do I get paid up front or at the end? At the end. Right. So it doesn't cost you anything out of pocket, right? Right. So um, for you to know that uh, this is not going to cost you anything in regards to money, certainly time, right? If for some reason, Austin, that you think you're not getting what you expect, right? Here, look, I'm willing to go back to the contract and to uh, and to rip it up if, if because if you're not happy with me. I'm not going to get paid, then it, it really is a waste of both of our time, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Right? So at least I have something up front that says, okay, listen, Austin, I'm going to commit to you. I'm going to commit all of this. And all I ask of you is that you say, Paul, I'll hire you. It won't cost me anything out of pocket. And if I'm not getting what I expect, then we can always come back to the contract and go, okay, let's rip it up. So if, you know, if, you know, three weeks go in and it's just not working out for us, um, right? I won't be bound to this. Yeah. No, listen. I, my job is to provide great customer service so that when you think real estate, you immediately think of uh, Paul and my ability to give you great service and how you could refer people to me because you had such a great experience. You've already gotten a good portion of that up front with the presentation that I've give, given you. How do you feel about what I've been able to show you so far? Oh, it sounds great. You know, right. like I'm just, I guess, where does this benefit me? Right. So this benefits you in regards to all the service that you're going to, I'm going to give you. Okay. Yeah. So you, everything that I've showed you, you're getting. All you have to say is, "All right, Paul, I feel comfortable." What does your gut say right now? Uh, I mean, still like I guess a little uneasy. Just sure. Of, you know what I've been gone yeah. through, but you know the presentation all makes sense. How you, you feel about are, it? Are way more professional than the other mm -hmm. one. So, um, yeah. You know, if, if you're telling me that you're going to give me the property that I want, yeah. you know, and, and we're going to make this happen, then that sounds right. good to me. Yeah, I'm ready to help. Let's get started. Awesome. All right. Great. That's awesome. Champagne